Let's try it and see what happens. From the beginning, the engineering program at St. Thomas aimed to produce hands-on engineers. We are a school of engineering practice. We're very applied. And there's a difference between engineering practice and there's a difference between engineering science. Whoa. We want our students to get their hands dirty. Right there. That's a legacy from the program's founders, who were teachers, mentors, linked with manufacturers. They also wanted engineers who could lead others and design master's programs for working professionals. There's a need here for good adult education, um, and, and we're going to build a department. The idea was that uh, you need to uh, apply technology to manufacturing just like you do to uh, product development and research. I wanted them to work on cutting their teeth on the hardest problems in the world. What we like to do is get rid of the spike that's happening here and have this be as straight of a line as possible. She's talking about an undergraduate project using an electrical converter and different transistors to change voltage. Reading how fast the wind turbine is spinning and adjusting all the electronics to have a maximum output and the highest efficiency. The wind generator is about 26 feet tall. It's a meter and a half across. The wings are made out of plastic. He's talking about a graduate student project designing this wind turbine. Cell phone towers. Um, have so much real estate on the side of the telecom tower, you can attach as many wind turbines as you need to power the actual cell phone site. There's higher pressure here in the red area, and then lower pressure here. And then we can use this pressure data to actually calculate our coefficient of drag. They're talking about research to better gauge the effects of climate change okay, so on ocean temperatures. No, this is the tip. So what we're trying to do is run simulations of these probes, create more accurate equations, and then go back and correctly analyze all the data that's been previously collected. We are in the Reynolds range for this correlation. If you see the table has a range of values. Teaching in the engineering program is a collaborative deal. Let's, let's do it. Let's uh, calculate this thing. College is a, a life broadening time when you can take courses in a wide variety of areas and really broaden your horizons. And what's funny is it makes you better at your profession. It is important, I think, to be well read, understand where other people are coming from, and understand what else interests people in the world besides engineering. So if there's a small bump on top of the wafer, the laser will hit it, it'll offset the laser, and you know if there's a defect in that location. Ben Austin's working at Rudolph Technology which makes high-performance inspection systems. If I wanted to get a job and if I wanted to build on those skills that I, you know, worked on when I was doing my undergraduate, that I needed to go back to school and beef up my resume some more and acquire some real-world skills that I could go to employers and say, hey, you know, I've got these skills, you should hire me. So this was another uh, component that I was working on wasn't fitting properly into the optics heads. I got to do research projects about subjects that I was interested in. With his engineering masters from St. Thomas, Austin quickly found a good job in a tough market. And he's not alone. I got promoted from an engineer to a manager shortly after I finished that degree. And, uh, and my boss at the time told me that was a factor. So I know that it, it helped me advance my career list the names and they're here and they're all involved with St. Thomas and that's what's great. That support from industry. If you're like the nice teacher who can put up with this, you can make an instrument. Turn it on and now push the lumps together and you'll get the noise on and off. How can you not love teaching? That's what brought Professor Thomas with a bachelor's from MIT and a PhD from Caltech to St. Thomas. I love showing students things that they didn't know about and by the end of it having them leave with a skill box they didn't know they, they could have. So there's your motor. It's, a, it's a, a wave. Passion for their subjects, their passion for That's right. conveying ideas to students, their passion for the fact that we are on a course to change, uh, to change the world around us, to change society for the better. You, know, you, you think about what that means inside of a classroom. Mallory Marcotte's done just that. I'm gonna eventually be helping to change the world, a little bit at a time. Since 1985, educating engineers, developing leaders, one student at a time.